with Oklahoma Joe's, and welcome to the detailed breakdown of the Oklahoma Joe's Bandera Smoker. So the Bandera Smoker is a little bit different from our traditional offsets in that the smoke chamber is in a vertical orientation. So this is going to allow you some options for cooking that are a little bit different from a traditional horizontal format that we'll get into a little bit later. As far as specs, it comes in at 40 inches wide, 28 inches deep, and 63 inches tall. The smoke chamber here is going to be made of a two and a half millimeter cold rolled steel. And our smaller firebox here is going to be made up of a two millimeter cold rolled steel. And these are both going to be coated in a high temp paint. The whole package comes in weighing about 198 pounds. So moving on to some of the details, let's take a look at the firebox first. First thing you're going to notice on the exterior is our cool touch handle. So that actually insulates the handle from the fire inside. It keeps it nice and cool so you don't burn yourself when you go to open the lid. In front, you'll notice a expanded metal shelf. So that's great for prepping food or when you're taking food off the smoker. It's just a good workspace to have. Taking a look at the interior. So your firebox is where you're going to be building your fires that heat up the smoke chamber. In this instance, for the smoker, it actually makes a pretty capable charcoal grill as well. So you're going to notice our porcelain coated cooking grate, six millimeter wire, so it's a nice robust surface and it's gonna provide 248 square inches of cooking space. The other thing that makes this a capable grill is inside the firebox you'll also see uh, adjustable height brackets. So that allows you to adjust the height of the grate so that you can adjust the cooking temperature as you're using it as a grill. So as opposed to having a fixed position grate where you really don't have a lot of control over that heat. Moving on to the side, First thing you'll notice is our carry handle. This makes for a convenient way to move the smoker around on its wheels. Below that, you're going to see the air damper and access door to the firebox. So the air damper is what's going to allow you to have control over that fire in the firebox. Open this guy up to increase that airflow and heat up the fire, heat up the temperature. Close it down, choke out the fire, bring that temperature down. For the access door, again, we have a cool touch handle here so you don't have to worry about getting burned. Lift up on your handle. Open your door up, you have a nice generous access to the inside of the firebox. First thing you'll see when you look in here is our fire grate and ash pan combo here. So this is a great feature for when you're building your fires, this is where they'll all be. Your ashes will fall through to this tray on the bottom. Makes for a super easy way to clean it at the end of the cook. You just pull the whole thing out and dump it. So moving on to the smoke chamber, let's start with some of the exterior features. On the front here, you'll see our high quality temp gauge, which is going to give you an accurate reading of the air temperature at the gauge. To the handle, you can see it's our cool touch handle, similar to what's on the firebox. And on the top here, you're going to see our smokestack and uh, exhaust damper. So using this exhaust damper in conjunction with the intake air damper that's on the firebox is what's going to give you control over that airflow through the smoker. Choke it all off to bring that temperature down, open it up to bring that temperature up. So let's take a look inside the smoke chamber. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a ton of room to work with in here. And the other thing you'll see that is that we included a variety of different cooking racks to suit a variety of different cooking techniques. So starting from the top, the first thing you're going to see here is two included meat hangers. So those are great for hanging sausage links or you could hang uh, rib racks vertically that way. Below that, you'll see a dedicated rib rack. So this can hold up to five racks of ribs across the width of the smoker. And below that, you'll see three cooking grates that are similar to what's in the firebox. So those are six millimeter in diameter wire. They are porcelain coated for easy cleaning. And across the three of them, you're going to get 744 square inches of cooking space. So below the cooking grates, you'll see our included water pan, which is also porcelain coated. So this is great for adding some moisture to the smoke chamber throughout your cook. Or guys like to add beer and wine, and things like that, to add some flavor and get that infused into the meat that they're cooking. So the other great feature in this smoke chamber is that you'll see that the walls are lined with support brackets, which allow you to really configure this smoke chamber however you want. So you can have the hangers in here in one grate, you can be doing ribs at the top and a big piece of meat at the bottom. It's really just however you choose to set up the interior of the smoke chamber. So moving on to our cart structure, the whole smoker is supported by four inch and a half square tube legs, which are cold rolled steel. Below that, you'll see our storage shelf, which is an expanded metal surface. It's great for holding uh, charcoal and logs and other things like that that you might need throughout to cook. And of course, we have our 10-inch wagon-style wheel, which is a signature of the Oklahoma Joe brand. So that was the detailed breakdown in our Bandera smoker. It's a really unique and versatile smoker, so I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. For more information on this smoker, a where to buy tool, and the other smokers that we offer, please visit oklahomajoes.com. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.